Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my spring favorites and a lot of these items are still available so for those that are I'll put links in the description. If they aren't available I will try to find similar ones for you. So first up I am a big lover of hats. One of my wish list items, my Gucci baseball cap, is definitely I think my most complimented item this spring and I absolutely love this hat. I think it's fantastic. I think it is super cute, super comfortable. I wish I had gotten this as soon as I saw it so that I could have worn it even more. And for a luxury baseball cap, I think it's very reasonably priced. This also goes with a lot. It's neutral but it still brings in designer and I just really enjoy it. I think it's a super fun cap and it's super well made. But I think that the best bargain hat that I have also gets a lot of compliments is, and I'm going to show you the back first, it is this J Crew straw hat. So it has this super cute light blue and white stripe that turns into a bow in the back. And then this is it on in the front. Obviously I probably wouldn't wear it with this shirt, but this is such a fun hat. And immediately, like, I get people complimenting me on this. This one came from J. Crew Factory. It was on sale for, like, 30 bucks, and I had a $5 reward, so got it for 25 bucks. This is definitely a hat that is worth getting, and the thing that I like about it is that because it's neither navy nor black, I feel very comfortable wearing it with both navy things, tan things, black things, because I have, like, this thing of I don't like to mix navies and blacks. I really, really don't. And so I was very torn between getting a straw hat with a navy band or getting one with a black band. And I saw this one and I thought, yes, this is the way to go. So I will definitely link this one, assuming that it's still available from J. Crew Factory. Now, one final accessory. I would normally have, like pull a pair of sunglasses or something like that, but I've been changing so many different pairs of sunglasses lately that I think the most consistently used item is this sleep cap from Lily Silk. So this is gonna look ridiculous when I pull my hair up in it, but I got this because whenever I do go into the office, which is a rare day, or if I have some type of like early morning meeting, I don't wanna have to mess with curling my hair. And so I just put my hair up in this sleep cap and what it does is that it actually keeps my hair from getting staticky, the curl stays in it. And so I literally just pull this sleep cap off, do a little fluff, and I'm good to go. I don't have to fix my hair in the morning. I don't have to run a brush through it because it's stayed tangle free in that silk cap. And so if you're someone who has a really busy lifestyle, I highly recommend that sleep cap because I think that will help shorten your morning routine a lot. Now for my most used bag, that goes to my new baby. Who I have decided to name Sophie because she just feels like a Sophie to me. So this bag is no longer available, this specific colorway, which is the navy with the cream and the tan. And I love this colorway. I was wanting a navy and tan bag, and as soon as I saw this from Strawberry, I knew there was a bag that was going to get added to my collection at some point. Waited for it to go on sale and got it. They have a version out right now that is this tan color, but it's tan all over with just the cream on the sides. This is also super beautiful and they constantly are coming out with different color combinations in this bag every season, as well as having a lot of neutrals and solid colors. When you get the try or the double color bag, it is a little bit more expensive than the regular one, but for me, this color combination was just so perfect that it was worth it. And a lot of the bags they're going to have coming out in their next collection launch are going to be stunningly beautiful. There are a lot of gorgeous greens, tans, and grays that are going to be coming. Now, next up is going to be shoes. And I love shoes. I have so much fun wearing different colors of shoes. But the pair that I've actually really gravitated towards, because we've been having a cooler spring and one where I don't want to wear boots anymore, but I still need a closed-toed shoe, it is these Cole Haan silver metallic loafers. And I actually got these from the Cole Haan outlet for like 30 bucks, but they do have similar styles all the time. And so you can check out the outlet, you can check online. I'll look to see if they have any similar styles out right now. But this is a very, very comfortable loafer, particularly if you're like me and have a little bit of a narrower foot. This does not slip around at all. The leather also does stretch some. 
And so like I went with a six and a half, which when I got it was a little bit snug. After about three to four wears, it was broken in and they fit perfectly. No more snugness anymore as they have stretched just to my perfect size of foot. Lastly, I have two clothing pieces that I've really been enjoying. First up is this pair of shorts. This is a high rise tailored short. It has sort of like this fake cuff on it. And I've been wearing these shorts a lot this spring. These are by Endless Rose and you can get them at Nordstrom. I believe that they're 70 bucks. But to me, this was totally worth it because I really love a high-waisted pant. So having a high-waisted short has been super nice. And while I don't want a long short yet, particularly because I am on the shorter side, this is much more comfortable than like what Abercrombie and Fitch or Hollister put out because those just felt too short for me. So while I wouldn't be wearing these to work or anything like that, these are a super nice casual short and they are very, very comfortable and very well made. And they have real pockets that my phone can actually go in in the front and in the back of the shorts. Now the last piece that I didn't even realize how much I had worn it until I happened to be scrolling through seeing videos making sure that I answered all these different comments and I noticed that my thumbnail was like very very similar in a lot of these photos even though I had filmed them on different days and that is because of one specific item. This is my Madewell classic jean jacket. Again I mentioned that we've been having a cooler spring where I live and so a jacket was very much a necessity to avoid having to wear a coat of any kind because once it hits April I don't want to wear a coat anymore. Really once it hits March I'd, I'm over the coats. I'm ready to, for spring and so this jacket has been a huge staple in my closet this spring and this is actually the same one that Meghan Markle has been seen wearing by Madewell a lot. So if you get this jacket you are certainly in good fashion company. I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing my spring favorites and I would love it if you comment down below to tell me what your favorite spring item is that you have been using this year. I hope you have a great rest of your day YouTube. Bye!